It's called the Mother of Satan, a highly volatile chemical cocktail used by terror groups for bombs overseas. Now, it's found in our backyard. Just two weeks ago, one local team had to defuse this dangerous threat. Deputies saying a man had it inside his house. Now, only on News 6, we go inside the Volusia County Bomb Squad. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky shows how they are keeping you safe. Yeah, the scary part is these guys tell me they often aren't sure what they're walking into. So they have to be so careful, so precise, because the slightest wrong move could backfire. Good. These are the men who came face to face with the mother of Satan. A white powdery substance that can easily explode on contact. So this stuff's nasty. And has been used by groups like Al Qaeda in several recent terror attacks worldwide. Its real name is triacetone triperoxide, or TATP, and even in the hands of a trained expert, it can be dangerous and deadly. This little amount could damage uh, someone's hand uh, or a person. This is just a small sample that explosives expert Ryan Morris showed us. They use it for training, and Morris says the slightest touch could cause enough friction to cause it to go off. Bomb squads need to be prepared for the threat, and they need the training. Part of that training is exposing bomb-sniffing dogs to the chemical so they can pick up the scent. Over at Southern Coast Canine in Volusia County, bomb-sniffing dogs from around the world are now being trained to detect this very threat. You know, every day is different. You never know what you're going to be looking for out there. These highly trained dogs are just one of the many lines of detection and defense bomb squads use to alert them to potential danger and to help keep them a safe distance away. Then there are the robots, like this one, which was actually used to collect and destroy the chemicals found inside suspect Jared Coburn's Lake Helen home. This was our workhorse right here. This is our, what's called the Remotech F6A. It's our main robotics platform that the bomb squad uses. But even with that, some techs still had to get up close and personal to sample and test the unknown substance and confirm it was indeed TATP. It's extremely alarming. Now, we are trained to handle things like that, but when it happens in your own hometown, that's when it becomes more personal. Volusia County bomb tech Joe Durney says the amount of dangerous chemical they found and destroyed was substantial and could have hurt a lot of people. Right down the street, there was a family with little kids running around. I mean, this guy had no care in the world about the little kid maybe riding his tricycle down the street. Now, the bomb team tells me what scares them the most are the other potential copycats out there that will be willing to do the very same thing at home and not only put themselves at risk, but others as well. They do not want that to happen, but are ready if it does. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.